few minutes and we'll be out the army and good job and that's it, aye. Of course, some people leave the army because they want to and some people leave before they get chucked out. Yeah, you've got a light. No smoking. You're still in the army until you go through that door and subject to the discipline thereof. That you want to get that badge with yourself. Stop buttering. All right, next to. Oh, Captain Sergeant Major this night, sir. Uh, would you mind? Thank you. You, Bisley, in there. Oh, Private Bisley, you're Mr. Bisley now, a free man. Yeah, I'm free and all lovely with it. <laughs> Here, has those smats come out yet? No, not yet. Oh, you wait till it comes out. They're not going to be a bundle. Oh, he's going to get one. Right where he don't want it, he's going to get it. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for years to do this, I have. You all right, Bisley? Yeah, it's all right. I'm just working me wild up a bit. It's right up now, it is. You wait till it comes out. Oh. Right, well, uh, good luck then, Bisley. Yeah. Here. Is those smuts come out there yet? Has been in Simi Street made you go blind, Bisley? What are you laughing at? Uh, I'm not laughing. Yes, you are, you are so. Stop sniggering at snuts. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> what you got on? Is it your own? I wore this suit on the day I joined the army. Did ya? Well, I wish you well to wear it then. <laughs> Stop laughing! Stop laughing or I'll put you on a... Uh, on the what? What you gonna put me on what? What, go on, what you gonna put me on? <laughs> Nothing. Mercy. Now go away. I won't go away. Go away! No, I won't go away. <laughs> anyway, then. Hey, we'll go away. Here, <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. I need him yet. Here. Now, Bisley, once... Bisley, once for all, get this quite clear. I never want to see your old little face, not know how, not play, not no place, not never again. No, and I don't want to see your face, not nowhere, nothing. No, uh, well, that's it, and a good job, too. Yeah, and good riddance to bad brothers. No, but at least said as soon as mended. Droopy drawers. <laughs> e microscopic midgets. <laughs> Around. Don't sit somewhere else. Oh, can't. The train's all full up. We've brought the soldiers in here. Here's no. ship. Oh, and it could, oh. eh? What would you do with ship? Ah. <laughs> and your body big. <laughs> You've been eating too many jelly babies, haven't you? <laughs> Never, Never mind, I. Excuse me, sir. I ain't got no manners. I ain't got none. Right. Oh, sorry. Bless me. You've got a light. <laughs> Have you never got nothing of your own? 
Sorry, it's a big one. Yeah. Oi, what you doing? It's good, I'm trying to light my hair. Go and sit somewhere else. That's an order. Order? You can't give me no orders anymore. You can't give nobody any orders anymore. Oh, can't I? No. In a civilian job, what I'm going to, I have a very responsible position, which is much more likely than what you will not be. Have you? Yes. Well, my job... Your my... job. Your job. What job? You haven't got a job. Oh, yes, I have, and it's a good job, and that's it. You don't know what my job is. Neither do I. <laughs> I wish I did have a job. Something I could use me head with, or me hands. Look at them, laying there all wiry and supple they are. Not like his. All airy and lulpy and dampy is his. Mine's more like, more like a surgeon's hands in hospital. Yeah. Oi, nurse, will you stop larking about, put the patient down. Come and give us the scalpel. Forceps. Yeah, what's the patient's name? What? Smart. <laughs> All right. No anesthetics. <laughs> Don't worry, Smart. I'll save you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, well, I, I dreamt I was saving your life by going in for to be a surgeon. Surgeon? Don't make me laugh. It takes years of experience to be a surgeon. Well, I don't care. You're only jealous because you can't be one. Well. I don't want to be one. I've already told you. I've got a very good job to go to. Have you? Have yes. you? Well, what is it then? Well, my job's... A, my job's... Well, well. But I'm not telling you what it is. Yes, see? You don't know what I'm going to do. Come to think of it, what am I going to do? Perhaps I'll dabble on the stock exchange. I bet in no time at all I'd be a company director. Yes, I can see it all now. Threadneedle Street, Park Lane, Riviera, Dartmoor. <laughs> Wining and dining with the finest in the land. Champagne, oysters, <laughs> ulcers. <laughs> Miss Prendergast, get me a surgeon, please. The finest one in Harley Street. Thank you. What's his name? Bisley? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't no. <laughs> Oh, Here, what's up with you? <coughs> I was just thinking about my future, obviously. The world is my oyster. Well, I hope you've got something to open it with, then. Bisley, you are surgeon. I've never heard such any fairy nonsense. Surgeon. <laughs> I've seen him with a knife, you know. Cannot even, cannot even balance his peas on it. <laughs> I'm going to be a company director. I'd probably give him a job as an office boy. It's probably what he can do, don't you think? Thank you. You've been most helpful. Most helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Company director. Surgeon. Tell that one to the wife, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. All right, right, bye bye. Well, uh, what can we do for you? Oh, please, sir, I've just come out of the army. Have you? Yeah. Well, we won't hold that against you. I was in the army, Major. Well, what were you? Well, I was, uh, I've just come out of the army. Yes. <clears throat> well, what can I do for you? Well, I'll come about a job. Have you? Well, you've come to the right place, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what sort of job do you want? Hmm? Well, uh, have you got a job where I like, could be in hospital, like helping surgeons when they have operations? Why? Well, I want to do something useful, like help people and sort of do good. Allow me to shake you by the hand. That's a very rare sentiment. First class. Absolutely. First class. Well, have you got a job like that, then? No. <laughs> I'll just come out the army. Now, look, come to the point. What sort of a situation do you want? Well, have you got, um, is there any chance? I mean, maybe you have, uh, <coughs> are there any openings for company directors? No. But there's a part-time job going in a glue factory. <laughs> <laughs> now, look here, my man. You're not talking to somebody who ain't not nobody, you know. I've got a whole heap of qualifications. I mean, you ask my captain, he will tell you that whatever I have did, 
I have did good. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Now, never mind that. Let's see what we can do for you. Uh, Gangle fitter's mate. No. Splint binder's waxer. Huh? Narrow scraper's tight fitter. Look, oh boy, I'm only trying to help. Why can't you go back to the job you had before you joined up? Well, I tried to, but they wouldn't let me. Oh, wouldn't they? Oh, well, we can soon jolly well fix that. Now then, what were you doing? I was on the national assistance. <laughs> a bank to the cards. <laughs> ah, now here's a job for you. Do you know the Imperial Club? The Imperial Club, who don't not? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> it seems they want a major jo uh, domo. It's a job where you've got to handle men. Oh. And get orders executed straight away. Do you mind wearing uniform? Never not more happy, sir. Never more happy. Good. Now, I'll sign this interview card. You go and see them at once. And if the job does work out wrong, well, there's always the glue factory. <laughs> That's one job you're going to be stuck with. <laughs> <laughs> busy, busy. <laughs> hey, what is the surgeon doing? A lolloping about a labour exchange. Yeah, and what's the company director doing lolloping about the labour exchange? Well, I, 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 uh, <coughs> All right, Miss Lino, he's beaten about the bush. Show me your card. No, you show me yours, I'll show you mine. <laughs> hey, but nothing to be ashamed of. Imperial Club. Yes, and they don't not allow riffraff like you near the place, so we won't not be seeing any more of each other. Now, show me your card. Oh, it won't be disappointed. <laughs> yeah. The Imperial <laughs> requested not to tether their horses to the club railings. <laughs> Rule 46. Members are requested not to exhibit their washing in their corners. Ah, there you are, Sergeant Major. Mr. Sigourney, sir! Oh, Sorry, sir, I keep forgetting big hearts. How are you getting along with the rule book? Ah, uh, rules and regulations of food and drink to me, sir. I've been memorizing them in my memory, sir. Rule 45, sir. Members are requested not to exhibit their horses' washings on the railings. <laughs> I don't remember that rule. Still, I'm very pleased to see that you're settling down all right. You have a difficult task in front of you. Now, come along with me. I'd like you to meet some of the staff. Yes, sir. Discipline has been rather <laughs> slack lately, but I feel sure that you are the man to keep them on their toes. I'll do my best, sir. Good. Ah, good morning, Mr. Simmons. Mr. Simmons, sir. Good morning, sir. Mr. Simmons, sir. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Forget it. Ah, here's one of the staff you haven't met. Meadows. Meadows. This is Mr. Snatch, our new major domo. Morning. How do you do? My medals, you and I will get on all right, so long as you do your job properly. Tell me, are you good at mixing drinks? Yes, sir, but... Uh... But nothing. Splitting Field Marshal Montgomery would have come into the club and asked for his usual. What would you give him? Piece of soap and a towel, sir. <laughs> Call yourself a barman? No, washroom attendant. <laughs> <laughs> all right, medals. You'll soon get the hang of things. Now, listen, let me see. Ah, uh, here's the barman now. Over there, with the tray. <laughs> Oh, they call him Priest Lightning, which is all. Oh, Meadows has been with us a long time. Uh, Meadows, don't you? Don't you? This is our new Major Domo. Lord Kitchener, I knew you'd come back, sir. He thinks you're Lord Kitchener. He gets these strange fancies every now and, now and again. The last hall porter we had, he thought he was the Kaiser. Made his life a misery. Welcome home from the Sudan, sir. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I nearly served under you, sir, at Sky on Cop. Nearly? Well, I deserted at Ladysmith, sir. <laughs> if you're a good man, I'd go through hell for you, sir. Yes, yes, that's I, all right. Sir. I would, I'd go through hell no, for all you. right, Johnson. Oh, we used to stick to him. Quiet, Johnson. Through thick. All right. And sometimes when it was thin, sir. Will you be quiet? <laughs> I'll uh, introduce you to the rest of the staff later. 
Do you remember, sir, when you pointed I need you and we stood four square behind you and you got the bayonet gun? That's all right, good, remember. <laughs> Secretary, sir, yes. sir, when I went to apply for this job, sir, I had the impression there was going to be a, a little, another, a little fellow. Uh... Oh, oh, yes, Bis Bisley. I forgot about him. He started this morning, too. Did he? Yes, he's the boots. Now, if you require him, all you have to do is press this bell here. Oh, 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 oh. That's him, all right, sir, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, what time's a big picture start? <laughs> what is your name? There's only larking about your nose, man. I'm asking you, what is your name? Bisley. I know my both sides are troublemakers, sir. Don't worry, sir. I'll deal with them, sir. Oh, Bisley, nice to be out in the army, isn't it? No more discipline, no more taking orders, no more having sergeant majors breathing down the back of your neck. <laughs> Yeah, well, smudge yourself and get your hair cut and look at your filthy hands. When did they last see water and soap? They keep splashing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> filthy pencils still got them. The right honourable Mr. Secretary, sir, has something to say about that, won't you, right honourable Mr. Secretary, sir? Yes. Keep wearing them, Bisley. Very good idea. As he said to me this morning, it will enable him to be both swift and silent. What? Yes, now I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. Get fell in, yes. All right. You heard what the right honourable Mr. Secretary said. Now, pin back your ears and listen to what I have got to say. Now, remember, whatever you are, whatever you may do, I've got my feet in yes, and you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, 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 come in. I want a word with you. Now, basically, listen, I'm starting a new job here, and I don't want you flinging your feet right in my face first. I've got a good job, and I don't want you mucking it up. You just do your duties properly, that's all I ask. No, I don't like this job. I'm gonna ask for my... That's it, that's it. Run away, first sign of trouble. You want to make a name for yourself in City Street, don't you, lad? Yeah, but I'm not likely to meet any surgeons here, am I? How do you know? How do you know who you're gonna rub shoulders with here? They all come here. Admirals, generals, politicians. One of them takes a fancy to you. You might end up as a surgeon's mate. <laughs> <laughs> do your duties properly, that's all I ask. Well, what my duty is supposed to be, then? Yeah, the right honourable Mr. Secretary said you're my number two. After all, do a fair day's work for a fair day's pay, that's Yeah, what. but the pay's not very fair, is it? No, but, uh, there's the tips, you know. What tips? Well, the gentlemen here are bound to be very generous if you do something for them. You sort of tick in a taxi cab, that's for sixpence. You take a message for them, that's worth a shilling. And if the wife phones up, you tell them, you tell them that they're not in the club, that's worth half a crown. Here, I'll show you, isn't it? Morning, sir, welcome to the club. May I relieve you, sir? Oh, thank you. Very inclement out today, sir, the weather, sir, isn't it? When I opened my bedroom window this morning, sir, I did not know whether to take them on or leave them off. <laughs> <laughs> Your fiddle, sir. Oh, uh, thank you. <coughs> I'll be leaving you now, sir. Oh, yes, of course. There you are. Oh, busy. A bob. A bob just for that? Yes, we're sitting on a gold mine now. Here you are. Here's your chance, someone coming. Excuse me, sir. I'll take it. Hmm? I'll take it. No, 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 that's quite all right, thank you. It's all right, sir. No, I tell you it's quite all right, it doesn't matter at all. I tell you it's all right, I don't want you to take it. <laughs> he didn't want me to take it. <laughs> no, you've got the right idea, Bisley. You've got to be smooth, polished, uh, debonair. You've got a hint. If you say something like, uh, <coughs> I'll be leaving you now, sir. Well, then you get a tip every time. <coughs> I'll be leaving you now, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you want relieving? <laughs> what? I mean, your case. Oh, it's heavy, isn't it? Yes, but take it up to my room. Look, uh, I should be late for my appointment, so I'm leaving you now. Yes. Yeah. What? <laughs> I said I'm late for my appointment. I should be leaving you now. Yeah, but I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> say what? Well, I'm supposed to say, I'll be leaving you now, and then I'll go... <coughs> Like that, poop. Sir, this is Roy. Leave this to me, sir. I'll handle this, sir. Don't worry, sir. I believe in you now, sir. Oh. <laughs> you are busy? Yeah. Now, then, the dust keeps. Don't worry, you'll manage all right. I'll help you. Package, Mr. Rector McDonald. Package, Mr. Rector McDonald. All right, all right, all right. We can hear, we can hear. Give it to me and see if he gets it. He's got to have it right away. It's his passport and travel arrangement. His plane leaves in an hour. I've already told you. I said I will see if he gets it. All right. Okay. <coughs> I'll be leaving you now. Oh, will ya? Well, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get out. <laughs> Young generation. 
car, Sir Hector Macdonald. Who's that? Don't you ever read your newspapers? He's one of our up-and-coming diplomats. He's leaving to Russia today for that conference. He's probably having 40 weeks in the reading room. Take it in, him, boy. Right. I don't know which one is him, and all have him for the wings. Well, Paige. What? Call his name out in a discreet and gentlemanly manner. Uh, <laughs> no, I try to call his name out in the wings. Sure. Well, of course he went shush. It's a shush room. <laughs> I gotta do everything myself in this club. <coughs> Oh, well, if you're going to be like that. Hey. <laughs> well, we'll just have to go around them one by one and we'll find him. We don't even know what he looks like. Well, it's open. Look, here's his passport. Ah, there's what he looks like. Oh, isn't he ugly? I'm not waking him up. Oh. <laughs> it's a bad photograph. You can't really tell what he looks like, except that he's got that big moustache. Oh, well, we just got to find a moustache with, like, a Scotsman with it. Donald, right. Uh, Sorry, madam. <laughs> no, this is not it. <laughs> yeah. What's he done? <laughs> well, what did you put it in there for in the first place? <laughs> to rob me. No, sir, we've got your passport and your plane uh, tickets. Uh, You've got our yachts. I don't need to hear service, not only to the club, but to the nation as a whole. Where have you been? Didn't you hear me ringing? I saw I saw we've been doing work of national importance. Well, I'm in a hurry. If you got my passport and plane ticket, they were to be left here in my name. Sir Hector MacDonald. Hector Mac... Here. We've just put him on the plane to Russia. It can't be. I am Hector MacDonald. No, you're not, sir. I mean, uh, he had a gold tooth to try and get a mole in the middle of his... Don't be a ridiculous, man. That's old friend, Chop. Is it? Well, he's on his way to Russia. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I'm sure the Russians will be very pleased to see him. He's the head of MI5. Oh, Bisley, <laughs> what have you done? Get him back. Yes, you... I'm... Bisley, I'm sorry, it's a little mistake, sir. Mistake, you blockhead. This could be a national disaster. You incompetent idiot. Something must be done, and at once. Well, what are you going to do about it? <coughs> we'll, we'll be leaving you now, sir. <laughs> 